Hello everyone. So in this video we are going to explore and learn how to alter existing routes in Drupal or existing URLs in Drupal. So the scenario could be if I want to change something, if I change, want to change my URL or an existing URL provided by a contributed module or another module to something else. If I want to uh, override or change the access uh, of a particular URL. So in that case, how would we do that uh, in Drupal 9? So the simple answer to that is to subscribe to an event provided by the uh, route subscriber base and implement outer alter route method. That way we would, we would be able to alter any existing route in Drupal. Uh, let's implement that. Uh, so I have example already with me for saving time but i'll also create the subs even subscriber from scratch for you guys so i uh, if you guys have watched my videos you guys would know that i use a model called drupal hex for uh, implementing all such things so again i'm going to use the same model drupal hex where i'm exploring and experimenting with drupal stuff so i i have few urls here first uh, url is a simple settings page for my module and a home page uh, let me show you those two pages this is a settings page which is looking like this and a home page which is duplicate which is looking like this so it, the home page is simply printing out a hello world message and settings page is a simple form so what i'm going to do i'm going to override these two urls for you so for that as i've told you we have to subscribe to an event provided by the route subscriber so for that route. Alter or route subscriber class Drupal hex Drupal hex Drupal hex event subscriber and route subscriber. And then we are going to tag it to event subscriber. That is it. Now, next thing we are going to do is we will go to our event subscriber location, which is folder, and then I'm going to create a sorry route subscriber a class called route subscriber find so new file namespace drupal slash drupal hack slash event subscriber slash sorry the capital use and first let me save this and class name of the class is going to be route subscriber and it is going to extend as i've told you this class so i'm going to use this class and extend this after extending this class we have to simply go and implement the alter routes method let me show you that method uh, from the Drupal set so this method uh, the definition is like this so we are simply going to implement this method so Function and I'm going to copy the name 
and it expects argument of this class so i'm going to specify over here and i'm going to use this class over here also so going to use this as well and let me specify this this is going to inherit talk and alter route service to alter routes that is it now we'll go and use this definition sorry i'm going to use this definition here Center. So what I'm going to do, this is when it is picking, getting the uh, URL from the collection. And if URL exists, then it is uh, setting the requirement or uh, set defaults or can you set paths. I'm going to use set path method. And specify the path here I will simply go to my route file and copy the path here sorry first of all I'm going to specify for which route I want to check this route and if there is a path there is this route in the collection then change the path of that of that route which is this to change I'll remove this and we'll go and let's clear the cache and see what error we are we going to get or uh, So it has cleared the cache. I will go to the path which is okay. So I was on this path, Drupal Fax Home. If you guys remember, I was seeing a page over here. I'll simply go and enter my changed path, and you guys can see now that page is available on the changed UI. So that is how we alter the the uh, dynamic URLs in Drupal. Also, one more thing I was talking about if I want to change the the access uh, of a particular route how do i how would i do that so for that we can use this method so i'll go and i'll use a method uh, uh, a route called drupal X admin settings so this is basically serving this page a settings page and i want to provide access false here which will basically uh, remember we can we might usually we write false and true boolean stuff without uh, uh passing it in uh, these uh, apostrophes because we consider uh, but here the the set requirement expects the second parameter to be a string so we are specifying it like this so i I can access it, but uh, uh, if I refresh it, I can access it. Now let's clear the cache and see what it is going to do, what this method is going to do. So it has denied access. Why? Because we have over uh, written it over here. So that is how, again, we alter routes in Drupal. Thank you.